Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Fink. I'm a medical oncologist at Zimmer Cancer Center at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, lung cancer therapy has, has come quite a long way in the, uh, in the last several years. Um, the, uh, the treatment has, has improved and survival is, is improving greatly. Uh, some of the newer things going on uh, include all aspects of, of lung cancer therapy, including the surgery of lung cancer, the radiation therapy of lung cancer, and the, and the medical therapy of lung, can lung cancer. Um, in, in particular, the, uh, the, one of the newer innovations we've had in the last 10 years or so is, is what we have found. Since most patients with lung cancer, uh, actually 75% of lung cancer patients cannot have surgery, it leaves us with, uh, because their cancer is just a little bit too advanced and the surgeon can't remove it, it leaves us with the other treatments such as radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, one of the gr better innovations we've had in the last 10 years is the combination of chemotherapy and radiation. We have found that that, uh, that works uh, quite a bit better. There was a time when if your, cancer couldn't, if your lung cancer couldn't be removed, you would just have radiation alone. And then some, uh, some good trials came along about 15 years ago that tried chemotherapy before radiation, and that seemed to improve their survival by quite a few months. Then some more trials came combining, chemotherapy, combining radiation therapy with chemotherapy, and that improved survival even more. Although it's a little bit more toxic to get the chemotherapy with radiation together, we found that overall uh, uh, patients do a lot better and get a lot longer survival. Uh, once, can once the lung cancer has uh, spread beyond uh, the lung and is now metastatic, uh, patients are obviously very worried about their situa uh, situation and whether, they'll, whether they'll, they'll survive and how long they'll, they'll survive. What we have found is that uh, some of our drugs have gotten much better in the last 10 years in this regard. Uh, the, the drugs, in, the, in fact, the drugs 10 or 15 years ago, we weren't even using drugs for that situation. We would uh, have none that were available or if they wanted to try experimental drugs, uh, we would give them that, that try. By doing experimental protocols that way, we came, came out with much better drugs and much better uh, outcomes. One of the newest treatments is a drug called Bevacizumab, um, also called uh, Avastin. When combined with standard chemotherapy drugs, this drug has been shown to improve survival. Um, this is a very interesting drug. It's a, what we call a biological or an immunological drug. It actually targets the blood vessels that, that feed the cancer. And it sort of prunes the vessels down and, and allows the chemotherapy drugs to get into the cancer a lot better. And it also uh, reduces the blood flow to the cancer so it doesn't survive as well. So that's one of our, our biggest innovation. Uh, so I would say that for lung cancer therapy, we've come quite a long way. We've uh, improved survivals quite a bit with a combination of chemotherapy and radiation. We've come up with excellent new drugs, including biological drugs that attack the blood vessels and, and, and reduce the blood flow to the cancer and improve the, the chemotherapy uh, into the cancer. And, uh, and this has all uh, in, in, re resulted in an improvement in survival of, of lung cancer.